Tim Labonte here in the test kitchen uh, where we're going to be preparing pot roast. Uh, not just any pot roast, this is a pork shoulder pot roast. Uh, this is a fully cooked product that we get from Hormel. It's the Fire Braze line. It's a really good product. It bodes well for lots of different uh, preparations. So now we're going to take our uh, pork shoulder and we're just going to season it to our specifications. This is our house. We'll do whatever we want. Um, so we have the pork shoulder. I've Put some fresh chopped thyme on there. Celery that I've sliced. We'll place that in there. Got some whole cloves of roasted garlic, which I always have in my pantry. Balsamic vinegar, just about an ounce, ounce and a half. And we're gonna season it. I like cracked black pepper. I think with braised meats, they have to be heavily seasoned for me because everything here is seasoning the meat, it's seasoning the vegetables, it's gonna be the seasoning for our finished sauce. It's the only seasoning we have in this dish. We're gonna go into the oven at 375 for 12 to 15 minutes. Okay, our pot roast is ready. Uh, this is the plate we're going to be using and we're going to be pairing it today with uh, a blue cheese gnocchi mac and cheese, uh, which is another recipe that you can find on our website. So this has been in about 12 to 15 minutes, more on the 15 minute side. As you can see how the balsamic has reduced and the jus has reduced. So this is going to become our sauce. I mean, Ultimately, it's, it's a beautiful cut of pork. So to create our sauce, we've got uh, the pan liquid and the balsamic, which have already reduced in the oven while heating up your pork pot roast. Finish with a couple pats of cold butter. I'm gonna put it in there. And then, basically you're gonna swirl the butter in. If you put melted butter in there, you're just going to have a broken sauce where everything looks separated on your plate. You take your time and swirl it like this so the butter um, is emulsified into your vinegar. You're going to have a, a beautiful, thick looking, almost like demi glaze looking sauce. However, it's just balsamic and the pork cooking liquid. See that the butter is, is almost gone and it's adding a nice uh, sheen to the sauce again. As I said earlier on when we were seasoning the pork that we're not going to add any seasoning elements to this because all the seasoning that I was putting on the pork is going to be the seasoning element for everything in this dish. So for the plating, I'm just going to give our pork pot roast a little glaze. I'm going to set it on the plate right beside our gnocchi gorgonzola mac and cheese. Some of the garlic and celery on there. And this is the part that I like to start using my spoon so I can control my sauce. I'm just, I like to drizzle my sauce. And then simply, we're gonna put some, as a garnish, we're gonna put some celery leaves in there. Celery leaves, basically from the heart of the celery. Sometimes a lot of people discard these things. I think they make a beautiful, delicious, fresh garnish. And there you have it. Pork shoulder pot roast with the balsamic uh, sauce and served with a gnocchi mac and cheese. As you can see how tender it is because I'm using a butter knife here. And it's basically falling apart. See the product itself, good layering of fat, nicely cooked, falls apart, 